but Kai Hosaka is set to become Arsenal's best paid player when he signs his new contract. The England star is close to extending his stay at the Emirates Stadium in a deal worth around £300,000 per week. Saka's current contract was due to run out in 2024, however he will now pen an extension to take him through to the summer of 2028. A new deal is richly deserved for Saka who has been outstanding for Arsenal this season. The 21 year old became the first player to register double figures for goals and assists in the Premier League when he produced a scintillating individual performance against Crystal Palace earlier this season. Saka now has 12 goals and 10 assists in the top flight this term. Although a new contract is the least Saka deserves, becoming the highest paid player doesn't always mean instant success for a player. It didn't work out for Mesut Ozil. He penned fresh terms in 2018 with £350,000 per week, becoming Arsenal's best paid player of all time. The German ace had been in terrific form before his new deal, and it is safe to say he wasn't at his brilliant best on a consistent level after his mega money contract. Arsenal were keen to keep the midfielder as he had just six months left on his deal and felt offering huge terms would be the best solution. Following the departure of Arsene Wenger, Ozil struggled under Unai Emery and then Miguel Arteta. During the 2018-19 season, Ozil scored just six goals and three assists in 35 appearances. He registered just one goal in the following campaign before being completely frozen out of the first team picture by Arteta. There was only going to be one outcome on Ozil's future and it was confirmed that his contract was going to be mutually terminated in January 2021 in order for him to join Istanbul Basiccia. The Gunners seemingly didn't learn their lesson from the disappointment of Ozil after penning a new deal. Arsenal chose to hand Pierre and Rick Aubameyang a major pay rise after helping them win the FA Cup back in 2020. Aubameyang's contract was worth in the region of £250,000 per week, just behind Ozil but more than Thomas Partey, William and Alexandra Lacazette. It was a statement of intent from Arteta and the Gunners board, but sadly it didn't work out and the Gabon international slowly declined. He had scored an impressive 29 goals in 44 games during the 2019-20 season, but failed to live up to expectations in the behind closed doors campaign. Aubameyang chipped in with just 15 goals in all competitions in 2020-21, before falling out of favour at the start of the following season under Arteta. Having been dropped for the Gunners game against Southampton in December 2021 due to disciplinary reasons for the third time in a year, Aubameyang's Arsenal career looked to be coming to a close. Three days later, he was stripped of the club's captaincy, with his departure being confirmed not long after as he joined Barcelona. Although Partey and Gabriel Jesus have taken the reins of being the best paid players and succeeded, the declines of Ezo and Aubameyang was noticeable. An Arsenal will not want to repeat from Saka, but the youngster is at a good age and has the qualities to develop further into a world-class player.